Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm Tanya Pro, and I am the 2023 Androscoggin County Teacher of the Year. My name is Emily Rosser, and I am the 2023 Aroostook County Teacher of the Year. Hello, I'm Joshua Char, and I'm the 2023 Cumberland County Teacher of the Year. I'm Mary Mamami, and I'm the 2023 Franklin County Teacher of the Year. My name is Miranda Ingstrom, 2023 Hancock County Teacher of the Year. I'm Sharon Gallant. I'm the 2023 Kennebec County Teacher of the Year. I'm Donna Monroe, and I'm the 2023 Knox County Teacher of the Year. I'm Edith Berger, and I am the 2023 Lincoln County Teacher of the Year. Hey, I'm Lacey Todd, and I am the 2023 Oxford County Teacher of the Year. Hey, I'm Jessica Archer, and I'm the 2023 Penobscot County Teacher of the Year. I'm Don McLaughlin, and I'm the 2023 Scandicles County Teacher of the Year. My name is Rob Messier, I'm the 2023 Sagadaw County Teacher of the Year. I'm Katie Flannery, and I'm the 2023 Somerset County Teacher of the Year. I'm Katie Ray, I'm the 2023 Waldo County Teacher of the Year. My name is Colleen Baker, and I am the 2023 Washington County Teacher of the Year. My name is Lisa Tripp, and I am the 2023 York County Teacher of the Year. Our school is small, and that's something that I love. Even if a student isn't in my classroom, um, I know them. Kids are always able to make connections with teachers and other adults within our school. We can utilize each other. Um, we have some amazing educators and teachers that can come together and um, build connections between different age level kids. So we can do all these really cool collaborative things. We're just really unique and taking advantage of our uniqueness. Every day is a gift um, and I think that's why I love being there. I love being a part of the, of the team and the family. We are a um, very impoverished area and we have a very diverse social economic group of students. And knowing that all of our students are capable of meeting all grade level standards and that we may have to choose different strategies and different ways to do it. I've watched people all around me just step up. Everybody is willing to do what it takes for students. Like our school nurse serves lunch. Um, everybody is always actively making a difference in students' lives. Every teacher in my school is committed to making that happen for every learner in front of them. I think that living in a very remote area can have its challenges, but it can also be this wonderful, beautiful um, piece of having resources. We're close to the Orono Bog Walk, so that provides um, that natural setting to visit. We are boots on the beach on a very regular basis as long as the weather allows it. We're really close. Um, we are a team and we collaborate all the time. And uh, we're like a very big large family. Oh, I love my school. I love my school so much that I graduated from that school. I think my school offers a lot of opportunities for all students. But what I love best about my school is how willing they are to try new and different things. We are all about trying to improve whatever we do. My school is a community of learners, thinkers, and doers. We have so many teachers in our school that want to think outside of the box and give our students experiences that they may not have. And my school gets behind all of my wacky ideas. I hope that kids catch on that being in education is a great job. Teaching profession is, is where it's at. I am proud to be a Maine educator because there were so many phenomenal teachers that brought me to this point. I had a fourth grade teacher who noticed me and inspired me and I'm proud to kind of follow her lead in, into this profession and love students the way that she loved me and made me feel noticed and cherished. I am really proud to be a Maine educator because uh, Maine ingenuity is at its finest. Because when you're from Maine, you're a hard worker. That is across the board and it's still true today. I think everybody should live in Maine, but then it wouldn't be Maine. I live in very northern Maine. We all have the same or similar goals for our kiddos and that's a beautiful thing. We work together as a profession. I have. I did a lot of other things before I came to be a teacher, and I have never had the collegiality and the collaboration and the support and the honor 
that I've gotten as a teacher. I think it's, it's really important to have teachers step up and advocate for the profession and represent themselves, but also be able to identify needs. Groups of people can move mountains, right? If I were to stay in my own four walls, I wouldn't be able to bring what I bring um, to my classroom kids. I wouldn't be able to bring that to a lot more kids. These days, there's some different viewpoints on what actually happens in public education, and there's so much good in living it and doing it. There's some great things happening in classrooms every day. I want people to see the positive that public education has to offer. Everything about my students gives me hope for the future. That's that's what I love about working with kids so much is that there's so much hope that they bring. Students, even no matter what's going on around them, right, no matter what, they still can find joy. My students are hilarious. And they have really good stories to, to lend to the world. My students are brilliant. They create amazing learning opportunities for themselves. Their curiosity, their sense of wonder and interest in all of the things that surround them. They want to learn and they want to be part of a community. They want to be stewards of their environment and they want to grow. My students have the best ideas. They want to know about their world and they ask great questions. They're empathetic with each other and with their teachers. They really, they care about you. I love their kindness and they really understand what it, what it's like to build friendships and um, be respectful. So I feel like if they can carry that on um, throughout their life, then we are gonna have a much better world. These kids are willing to like take on and tackle any issue and they're so creative in the ways that they try to solve it. How big they can be despite how little they are. Um, they just, they can do anything. They're gonna rule the world someday, all of them.